Well, I'm back on video. This is my second video on this little quilt, holiday quilt that we're making. It's so quick, and it's a little three-yard quilt. And if you know, on the first video, we cut all of our pieces, and now it's time to sew them together. I've got these here that I'm going to sew. I've got my little featherweight that I love sewing on. I've got the iron over here, and it's turned on. I think we're ready to go. I think the lights kind of making me look funny but that's okay you don't want to watch me you want to watch you want to watch the sewing machine work now i've just got white thread on it i'm not going to use a red or a green and we're going to make our other part we're going to make these squares here that go around around here this is this quilt so easy this is a beginner quilt. If you know somebody that's just starting out, this would be one to, te to let them learn on. And we're going to put it under there and sew a scant quarter of an inch. Get the lay edges lined up. I was trying to teach a little niece the, the other day. Let me find my pedal here. Got my shoes off. Let me... Uh, Use my feet to turn it the way I need it to go. And we're gonna, gonna sew now. I'm gonna li I'm gonna line it up. You can't see very good. I know. Let's give it a little bit. That's that not gonna that's not gonna help much. But you got to keep your edges lined up. But some of the beginners. They want to run off the edge and don't even realize they're doing it. And you can just kind of take your hand and kind of put them back in place if they get out of line. So I've got three of these I'll have to sew and cut to make our full pack. holiday quilt will sew up in no time. on now there's there's that one let me get another one here let me get this one like just line them up line them up and I haven't cut that one I'm just going to start this one under there oh, I've got the green on top this time Looking at that green, I can almost smell that pine. Not really, but pine always smells good. I'm gonna scoot I'm gonna scoot you back just a little bit. Line the edges up. And then if it gets if it don't run right, I'm going to push that a little bit. This one's going to be so easy. I'd like to get some kind of nursery material, make a baby quilt out of this pattern. I could make it quick. one and then we're going to cut them. Let 
One more to go. Get it, get them to unroll here just a little bit. That light's kind of glaring. I wish the light, the light was better. I have to figure out what I need to do for my lighting. Just improvise and get by with it as best we can for now. We'll work it back. If it goes too much, I just take my fingers and scratch it back where they're lined up. Just went wee wop. Now, got those cut. Not cut, I've got them sewed. Let's trim them apart. Let's refer back to our pattern just for a minute to see to see what how we do cut them. All right, we sold the strip assembly. Now we're gonna cut five and a half. But I'm gonna put them right here on the iron, give them a quick press. I think I'll press them, I think I'll press them toward the red. All of them toward the red. Let me move back. I'm gonna go right here. Got my iron on so it's hot. Don't want to press any creases into it. Now that's what I've got now. Let's just go ahead and take our time and cut the, and press these others. Open them up. Lay it down. And I'll use my fingers to kind of push them the way I kind of want it to go. I have any water in my steam iron right now. I have to go get some put in there, but we'll be all right. There's that one. Let me lay, put them right there. Cause my cutting board is right there, right beside. Get this last one. Toward the red. Now, I'm going to turn you, because this see, right there, 
There's where I'm going to cut them at. This is my cutting board. Move, <laughs> move my phone. Don't need my phone, do I? Got two minutes. I didn't know which rotary cutter was had the good knife in it, new, the new blade. So I'm gonna. And there's the edge here that I'm gonna trim off. It's just this wide selvage edge. I'm gonna walk, get where I can walk around right the table and cut from this other side. Now we're going to cut them five and a half. And I'm going to put it on this. Move it down all the way to the edge. Run just a little off for me. Not bad. Nothing we can't work with. There's what we're going to have now. And I don't like to cut more than one or two at a time. I don't layer them. Nope, I'm not going to be able to get, I'm not going to be able to get one out of that. That's going to be some scrap. Now we're going to sew these together. Set back down here. I'll cut those others in a little bit, but we'll sew some together first. Now they're right here, and I'm going to pick up, I'm going to do one up and one down. Turn that on. I'm gonna nest my little seams and I can feel it and it'll just they'll just kinda fit right together. We'll be quilting this thing tomorrow if I keep working on it. Let's make a couple more and then we'll press them and put them on the wall. Nestle, nestle those little seams. One, one's going one way and one's going the other way and they just fit right together. That one's gonna be the extra one. Just gonna make three out of three out of a strip set. Now 
Now, we're going to press these three and see what they look like on our wall. And strings. All right, back to the ironing board for just a minute. Right there is where we're going with these. That's what I have now. There's two of them. Now, let's put these three over here on the wall. Wonder... Well, we may have to, we may have to move them in a minute which way we want them. But that's what it's going to look like. I think it's gonna be pretty. Let's let's cut the let's cut some more of them over here. Let me get another one. We're we're just coming together. Looky there, looky there. That's let me find it. Point to it. No, that way. There it is. <laughs> I'm excited about it. You cut this white part off here. White salvage part. I'll use that in a minute. Go down to the end. Line it. Get get all those lines lined up. So we're not cutting too crooked. You can get by with just a little crooked. But try not to make it. Try not to make it too bad. I'm going to go on this other side. I like to cut from both sides, depending on which way I'm going. Cut that off. Seven, five and a half. Sometimes I move it. Sometimes I slide it, and I don't mean to. That's the reason I, I line them up every time, because sometimes my hand don't do what it's supposed to do. Too many rulers in the way. Move some of those out of the way. Now let's pull. Let's just pull you down. Pull you down. <laughs> then I lay the ruler down and it scoops. And I'm trying to get it on the. An even inch line. Up. This is just the way I do it. Y'all might be better at it than I am. And I just I just can't get I just can't get another one out of that piece. Let's 
put it over over there. Worst case scenario, if we had to, I'd piece it together and do it. But maybe I won't have to do that. Oh, here's my pieces, so I'm going to flip flop them. Well, I picked up two of them. Nest those little seams because the reds are going one way and the other way. Nest those seams because you want them to uh, to have sharp corners if you can. And the more you saw and practice at it, the better it'll get. Now keep picking up two of those. And you could pin them if you needed to. I like to, I just line them up. And chain piece them through here. Just like that. So I'm telling you, this would be a good beginner quilt. And if you wanted it bigger than a lap quilt, just make more of the pieces and make it bigger and bigger. Looking at, I'm, I'm looking at it back there. Those greens, I, I, maybe I should have had more contrast in those colors. But it'd be okay. Sometimes you make design choices that after you make them, you don't, you really wish you'd have done something different, but it'd be okay. When you're holding it in your lap and looking at it, it'll be fine. Now I'm, now I'm going to use this little scrap here to throw on to Four more, and we still got one more to cut. Let's press these and put them on our wall. Turn you around here. I'm over here again. Over here. And I'll just show you, when you nest those seams, they come to a pretty good little point. And put that one right there. This one right there. Right, I'm going. I'll have it done before Christmas. Let's put that one right there. Put that one right there. And I need one, two, three, four. I need four more. Am I going to get four out of this last piece? We'll cut it and see. And then I'll turn this video off. And get ready to sew them all together. Alright, let me line it up here. Trim off that white salvage and turn you around. I do like to be able to walk around the table.
And it, and it, lay that ruler down, it moves on me. curious to make sure we're going to have enough out of this. Surely we will. Surely. I said I needed four more. Hmm. Beginning to wonder. There's three. One, two, three. Am I going to get two more out of this? It'll be awful close. What did I do? Trim too much off? My, my, my. One more. Wow, that thing's close. I don't know if you can see, but I'm almost, I'm almost in that salvage right there. That's close. Really close. Just barely, barely trimming anything off of that one. I don't know what I did. Those others, what were they? Boy. Oh. I don't know. All right, but I've got I've got four sets here. One, two, three, four. That's what I that's what I need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, one, two. All right, let me see. That's not the way I want that. It's too long, isn't it? So, three more is all I needed. So, I was okay. That one in the salvage, I, w I didn't, wasn't going to have to have after all. Now, where did it go? But that's what it's going to look like. Let me sew these two and put them on there. I had them on the wall wrong. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, this is this is that one that was almost too short. I'm not know if I'm gonna use it. I'll show it to you in just a second. See, one, two, yeah, three. And I've got them. I, I was big, I thought I'd messed up. But I hadn't. I'm going to show you this one if I can. This is this is the one I thought I was short and I was going to have to use and had to salvage. But I'm not going to use it after all. So I'm going to put it over there to the side. But I do need this one, this one, and this one.
Flop one over. There's my three good ones. <laughs> now, we're going to press them, and then I'll show you again. Let's turn, turn you. Oh, here I am. So this is just a little easy lap quilt. That one right there. And this one right there. That one right there. Let me smooth this. That's what that's all we're gonna that's what we're gonna do. They're not so. Those are not so together. When we come back, when we come back, I'll put all those pieces together and put the little borders around it. This is not going to take long at all to make this one. See y'all later.